Hi, so I'm Chad Simpson and I'm project lead on Mall Cop. Mall Cop is an asymmetrical party game where four sneaky shoplifters face off against one bumbling Mall Cop. And this is our status update for June 23rd, 2015. Alright, so the first thing I would like to talk about is a little problem we were having in animation. So the main problem here was that characters in Mall Cop need to move around the mall really quickly and this didn't quite look realistic in most of the ways we were trying to animate it so we put our heads together and tried to solve this problem. It ended up being kind of a Goldilocks story. So the first thing that we tried was to slow all the characters down and as you can see in the video footage here, at a slow speed, the characters meander around very realistically. They, they plant their feet correctly and they walk at a reasonable rate for real human beings. But the problem with this speed was that we had playtested um, at speeds similar to this, even quite a bit faster, and players found it really frustrating. So this slow speed was not going to work for gameplay reasons. Then after that, we tried putting a jog animation on everyone in the mall, and we only had one really good jog animation to use, and uh, it's, it was pretty distracting to see on all the characters. Uh, the people moved around way too fast. It looked kind of like the mall was on fire, and we found the arms really distracting. So it was hard to tell if the speed of the feet and the legs here were going to work because it was just too ridiculous uh, to really know where this was going. So from here, we had our animators put together a quick version where they clean up the arms and use mostly the same leg motion. So the footage that you're about to see, the people are still going to be kind of skating around and sliding and not planting their feet correctly. but we feel really good about the speed at which they move through space and, uh, and feel like this will be a pretty reasonable look. And you know, it's fast, but this is maybe just a really happy place. It's like a peppy mall where the people get around quickly. So even though there are some distracting elements here and this is only about a 60% completion, we feel like with another week of polish we can clean this up and make it work for the game. And it's. Uh, a compromise solution between gameplay and animation that we're really pleased with. But moving on from there, uh, we have an update on the last character who hasn't been modeled or put into the game, which is the shopkeeper. We have all the other characters working, and the shopkeeper is based on a concept that you see on the right, and right beside that is also a colored version. Uh, this shopkeeper is going to match the palette of every store that he's in, but he'll look very similar in between shops so that for players he's totally recognizable as they move through environments. We also have updates on the shops themselves. So here are two of the newest stores in the game that are ready for people to shop and steal in. And this is a game store and a jewelry store. And because we have a playtest coming up, we've also put in three more stores, and these will require some more art polish, but they are ready for gameplay purposes. First is Plushy Knights, a toy store where they sell stuffed animals. Then you've got Pay More Shoes, which is kind of like a pay less. Obviously this one still needs some color, but the dull look kind of works even for playtesting because pay less shoes are such boring places. And then Sugar Rush, which is kind of the opposite, which is a very bright and playful candy store. So all five of the stores that you've just seen are ready for playtesting. And uh, here is an overall update on how we're doing with all of the stores that we need for this mall. Uh, on this chart, green X's indicate things that we've just gotten done this week, and white X's are our next targets, and we think that we should be on, on progress, or <laughs> we should be on target here to complete this mall uh, just really two and a half weeks from now. Speaking of the mall itself, I'm now going into some changes that we've done more for gameplay reasons than aesthetic ones. So we found that the floor plan of the lower floor of the mall was just way too big and spacious. It was kind of like players were getting lost down there and it felt bad to play in the lower floor because it took too long to travel between locations. So we tightened that up and we've also 
had a similar retreatment of the top right side hallway, which was awkwardly shaped. We've reformatted that, which has also allowed us to start putting in the glass ceiling there. And we'll be spreading this glass ceiling to the rest of the locations in the mall soon. Also new in the game this week is the ability to select which shoplifter you'll be able to play as. From left to right you're seeing Prep, Diva, Mom, Dad, and Punk. And all of these have individual characteristics. They vary in four ways. There is move speed, which is just how quickly you get around. Stamina, which is how long you're able to run at top speed. And theft speed is how quickly you shoplift items. Inventory is how many items you can hold. And now for the first time, players are able to choose between these five characters and randomize the look of them. And uh, we're also really pleased with the UI look. This is a direction that the rest of the game will be taking soon. We've also added a lot of user feedback for players so that they uh, can tell more readily what's going on in the game. And here is a kind of top level screenshot. I'm gonna pan in and talk about several of the new features that are ready between the last play test and this next one, we've just added all of this in. So first of all, there is a tutorial UI system which tells players that once they start the game, they should go into a store. We're hoping this speeds up the rate at which players figure out what they're supposed to do. A lot of people were just wandering around and not understanding. So we prompt them to go into a store and then once they arrive at a store, the message changes to steal items and they know which items to steal because of the new coin tags that are floating above the stealable items, which let you know the value of the items that you're going after. Um, we've also greatly improved the, reliabil the reliability of stealing, uh, which was a little finicky before. We re refactored that system. It's great now. And also a new feature is an overhead icon on the shopkeepers, so that those guys are easier to track and keep up with because if they catch you, they will reveal your location to the mall cop and prevent you from stealing items. We also, once you steal an item, the player gets a message to head to the exit, and when they make it through the door, alarm lights go off, which that's new as well. It lets the players know they've done something bad, and there is a minimap indicator on their minimap and on the mall cops, which moves out of the store and lets everyone know what action is going on. And from there, the player just has to make it safely to the exit. And a new feature that they have is Turbo, which lets the player sprint. And the stamina stat that I mentioned earlier is how long you're able to turbo. Turbo leaves a smoke trail behind, which the mall cop also sees. So when you do it, you risk revealing your location. We've also given shoplifters the ability to ping on their minimap. They have two pings, one for alert, which is kind of, I've seen the mall cop, he's here, avoid this location. And there's another for assist me, so you can come in and distract a shopkeeper uh, and help out a friend. So the shoplifters are not the only people who got a little love in between these playtests. The mall cop himself, we've also looked at his experience. Um, we've added this kind of camera fly-through. The mall cop has an ability to swap between two mall cops, which is how he has some advantage over the four shoplifters that he's trying to shut down. And this fly-through allows players to understand better the action that's going on, and it also gives them a bird's eye view as they arrive at a new location, and it just makes that feature a lot more satisfying. You can also see there are uh, four colored dots in the mall cop scoreboard, and those dots indicate the color of the player that he's arrested, which is also a new feature and kind of lets players track who's getting in trouble the most and laugh at each other. That's pretty much all of the changes that we have for this week, and we'll be seeing how that goes for playtesters, and we hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks!